Good morning, guys. Um, I know it's been a while again, uh, but I've been um, kind of going through some uh, life transitions, to say the least. Um, not going to really get into that, but um, I, I think I'm back for the most part. Um, but I wanted to come in here today and do, um, a small, uh, uh, just kind of a short video, um, about research, uh, and about debating, about reasoning, um, uh, you know, um, one of the things um, that I really, you know, one of the things that I really, that really bothers me since I left the Americanized um, white Jesus go to church Sunday propaganda that they, you know, and uh, the, the rhetoric that they uh, have spewed from parts of the Bible to the slaves and everything and those things that they use to continue to keep us um, down, those things that they use to continue to keep us um, oppressed and all that, that, that facet of Christianity. Um, since I've left that, you know, a lot of my views have changed about so many things, even the way um, that I do um, research, the way that I talk to people the way that I uh, reason and debate with people. Uh, one of the things I really try not to do is to debate too very much. Um, I try not to um, argue very much with people. Um, sometimes I try to get my point across. <laughs> uh, and, you know, depending on who you're talking to, sometimes it will lead to a little bit more heated um, discussion. Uh, but I, I, I love reasoning because, um, being in Rastafari, reasoning has taught me that, you know, there's really no necessarily right or wrong, uh, opinion. You know, you say what you want about the subject. I say what I want about the subject. And then we compare notes. There's no arguing and yelling and calling names and so forth. And, you know, that's why I say it makes it hard for me to um, debate, to uh, talk to those who uh, don't have that kind of mentality. And this is what I find uh, usually with those who are very religious, especially uh, especially Christians and especially um, those who call themselves like Hebrew Israelites and things like that. You know, um, there's a lot of hate there's a lot of um, name calling. There is a lot of, you know, and, and what really gets me about that is that the first thing that a Christian would throw out is, well, you can't judge. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I find so much, like I say, hate and uh, so much bitterness and so much ugliness that comes from them to other people, though. And I guess they feel justified because they feel as if they're right according to the scriptures. And so I can say this to you, but when you come at me, you can't do that because once again, I'm hidden in the scriptures and you can't judge me. That That's some really uh, schizophrenic type. Uh, it's a schizophrenic type mentality. Um, so like I say, one of the things, I mean, the main thing that we have to do before we begin to reason, debate, whatever. We, we need to uh, learn what we're talking about. We need to do some research, some heavy extensive research, not Google, some heavy extensive research we need to do on whatever subject we're talking about. You need to find out why that person believes what they believe and why you believe what you believe and, you know, meet somewhere in the middle because, uh, you know, usually what I find, like I say, with religious people is they're stuck on what they feel like they know 
And then anybody who veers off any way different to that is a devil, is a, you know, going to hell, is just, I mean, they're just the most horrible, wicked person. And so, like I say, that justifies them in their mind to say, act, do, or whatever in any way that they want to. Now, you start going back historically, you know, and, you know, especially Christianity. Christianity is one of the most bloodiest, one of the most brutal, one of the uh, worst religions that condones uh, rape and killing and murder uh, as part of their foundation. And when you are a bad person to them, then anything goes with you. You can, they are allowed and they feel justified in doing whatever they want to you and saying whatever they want to you because you're a bad person to them. Even though they say that God says that vengeance is so-called his. Even though that, they still, historically, they take it upon themselves. And that spirit... Um, uh, continues that that spirit of anger bitterness hate revenge murder um, disrespect uh, it, it continues on with Christian people you know um, I find so many times um, just like um, just like uh, the other day I was on a video uh, of a young man who I listened to quite a bit and um, he was talking about how uh, the church has basically, well, I don't think he was talking about that. That was a, a part of something that he said in his video. He just kind of threw that out there in addition to what he was talking about. But he said how the church um, uh, has messed up the minds of black and white people, you know, uh, and, and you know, people were commenting on that. He was talking about it. He commented and he said some things on that. And I came and, you know, basically, you know, the way that I feel about it is, you know, I've, I've learned and I've grown so much until I feel like, you know, be your own God. <laughs> you know, yes, there is a creator. But when you start talking about God, you know, there are so many different gods. There are so many different concepts and things that people have created. Uh, made to be God until you can't just throw God out there and say this is it this is big God in the sky this is what it, because you know a lot of people know that that's not true there is no person up there in the sky you know especially according to uh the way Christianity has made it you know it's just not true even historians in the Christian faith Catholic priests and stuff will tell you that that stuff was made up and created, you know, but these same people get mad at those who have done research and historical, historical research to disprove and to prove that, yeah, this was a bunch of stuff that they just gave us for submission of the people, not just black people, all people, you know, Christianity, the way that it has been given through Europeans to the rest of the world is a power tool. It is a tool of submission. It is a tool of control. And uh, those of us who are awake and who know this, you know, we get a lot of attack uh, because we're able to disprove that and we're able to, uh, you know, let others know that it's, it's just not true, you know? So um, they get these Christians get very, very angry. And usually they have no argument because what they usually do is use the Bible to disprove you. Which, how can you do that? You, you can't use the Bible to disprove me when I'm, you know, I'm coming with facts. I'm coming with science. I'm coming with, you know, I know I think you're throwing at me a scripture. And I mean, hey, if that's what you want to do, that's cool. But don't start the name calling. Don't start the, you know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, in this um, in this uh, talk that he was doing, and I, I commented, and I made the comment that I believe that the creator is basically, I, I didn't go into a whole lot of it, but basically feminine energy. 
you know, that feminine energy is back now up on the earth. Uh, a lot of things are going to be changing. We're in a new age. We're in a new era. You know, I didn't go through all of that kind of stuff, but this is what I believe. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people don't want to accept that, especially these men who are very caught up in the male uh, patriar patriarchal uh, system. You know, it's just I'm the man, period. You know, there's no whatever. God can't be a woman. You know, that God can't be, you know, it can't be female. There could be no female creator. Why? Everything in creation that creates is female. But I'm not getting into that. I'm not going to get into that. You, you need to do your own research with that behind that, whatever. And whatever you believe about it, let that be your opinion. You know, you don't have to insult and, you know, say such ugly, vicious, vile things to people because of what they believe. And this is what I keep saying. This is what I find with Christians. You know, don't judge me. Love me. Listen to me because I'm right and I have found the way. But if you don't, you're all kinds of horrible, wicked things. Uh, which shows their immaturity and their ignorance. But it, it's just... it. it it's very it's it's a horrible thing that they do so when i put that up there basically some guy which i am almost certain is a hebrew israelite uh, they are some of the most and i'm not talking about all of them because there are a few that i can can respect and listen to and who are not like that very few but i do know about a few uh, but for the most part uh, what I have found is these men who follow the Hebrew Israelite doctrine are very angry, very, they hate black people, period. Even though they promote black God, they hate Africans, they hate black women, they talk about with disdain the black woman. Uh, they talk a lot about black men too, <laughs> you know, I mean, they are just, they are filled with hate. They are filled with hate and bitterness. Uh, you know, you, you have seen them, I'm pretty sure, on, uh, you know, these street corners, yelling at people, cussing at people, you know, just being ugly, vile, and, and just ugly and vile and horrible. So this guy, who I'm sure, like I said, follows the Hebrew Israelite, because I can tell, I could tell by the scriptures that he was trying to throw at me, and I can tell by the way that he was talking, what he is, because I have uh, followed when I was going along my journey, uh, the Hebrew Israelite for a moment, you know, maybe, a, uh, maybe a couple of years or whatever. I, I was kind of into it, trying to kind of see, you know, cause it, you know, it's a journey. This, this, this path is a journey. Once you leave traditional Christianity, you have to go somewhere and, you know, they kind of have it designed for you to go a certain way. Um, I'm glad that I broke off that path too. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, following uh, that path, I bumped into Hebrew Israelite, you know, and um, I left for my own personal reasons. I uh, didn't, you know, I just didn't think that was my way. I just didn't think that was the way. Um, those who are still in it, follow it, whatever. I don't judge, whatever. If you can find your peace, your happiness and your uh, path to life doing that, then you do it. You know, there is no judgment for me. I'm, I'm not the one who can judge anyone anyway. And so, but anyway, let's get back to this guy. This guy was just horrible. I mean, he's using scriptures to call me all kind of harlots. He's using scriptures to call me, say, I, I, I practice lewd behavior and I'm whores and all this kind of stuff with scripture. And I'm just like, and the only thing that I'm saying to him is, okay, okay, okay. I'm not saying anything to him. I didn't throw a scripture. I didn't throw anything. Now, the thing that would get me if I even wanted to get into his pettiness, because I, I don't, is first thing is that he thinks I don't know scripture when I have, I, I have gone to uh, school for theology. I, I have gone. I have studied. I, I have a minister's license. Don't use it. Haven't used it in years. But uh, and, and matter of fact, in two states, <laughs> I have a minister's license. So I'm trying to figure out what is it about these scriptures that you're throwing at me that I'm not supposed to know. First of all, you're using them and you're taking them out of context. You don't 
use scripture to beat up and hurt and, and, and show hate toward people. You don't do that. Yeah, that stuff might be in the Bible, but it when you take it out of context, you can use the Bible to say and, and use it to hurt. You could use it to mistreat. You, I mean, look at what America has done to the slaves, descendants of slaves, using those same scriptures. When, in reality, they tell you that Jesus is supposed to be about love and helping bring people to him to help save souls. So if that is the case, what is this hate and bitterness and, and, and foulness that you use to break and hurt people through scripture? What is that about? Especially in my case, when I wasn't even saying anything to the dude, all I did was I was like, okay, all right, you know, whatever, you know, okay, all right, you know, that's my response to him. And he's going, everything he comes back with is a longer scripture and more lewdness and you're a whore and you're the, and I'm just like, okay. So finally, some other guy came on there and asked him, why was he being so disrespectful? Of course, he said nothing to him. Now, let me have come back with anything and he would have, you know, but, you know, people, there are men, there are men who hate women. We see the abuse. We see um, the hate toward women, especially the black woman. And a lot of times it is uh, from the black man, Uh, just vile, vicious hate toward, toward black women. Uh, and a lot of these even come, like I said, from the religious sect, you know, this vile, vicious hate, uh, that they already have inside of them. Because like I say, if Jesus is about love, then how do you hate to that degree? Especially, like I say, when I, I mean, I'm just using myself as, as an example, but especially when I'm not even saying anything to you, how do you get whores and lewdness and all this out of me just telling you, okay, all right. How do you get that out of there unless you already have in your mind that women are whores and they're, 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 they're not to be trusted and they're wicked and they're, you know, and and that's one of the things, like I said, that I I found with uh, this, this Hebrew Israelite doctrine, when it starts coming to women, they are very suppressive. They are very uh, uh, resistant toward women. They are very uh, dominating toward women. And uh, they don't trust women and they use all these scriptures that women are evil and women are wicked and everything, but yet they want wives. And yet they want to be in relationships where they are the man, you know, and these are the things that become very, very abusive. You know, you have women who want to be good women and be good wives and submit and all of this kind of stuff. And they follow these religions and they just wind up being hurt and abused. And, you know, that is not my, um, that is not my understanding of the creator, because like I say, my, my whole, everything has changed. But, uh, you know, what I believe is even if I felt the creator was a male energy, um, you know, because I did at one time, I still don't believe that it would be that kind of oppressive, dominating type behavior toward the other part of his creation. I just don't believe that. You know, I, I don't see a need for that except to pump up the male ego and to make the man feel as if he's the whatever. But a real true man does not have to step on and hurt and belittle anyone to make himself feel as if he is a man. I mean, either he's a man or he's not. You don't need to hurt and dominate and suppress other people to make you feel as if you are whatever. <laughs> either you are it or you're not it. You know, this this comes from some, some hurt and it comes from deep down, deep-seated anger. It comes from a misunderstanding of who you are, you know, and it comes from hate. You know, it comes from not understanding females, it comes from not understanding women. You know, you, you feel as if you're competing. You feel as if women are your, um, what would you say? Women are your uh, competition. Women are your, um, your enemy almost, you know? 
So, uh, you know, we, we have to gain understanding. We have to gain understanding, but we also have to realize and know that there are men out there like that who are ready. I mean, a man like that, that was talking to me the way that he was talking to me on that, on that, uh, post from that video is the kind of man that would hurt women. Absolutely. I mean, probably I'm talking about physically would absolutely hurt women because they have that much hate in them, you know? So, um, these are the things that we have to watch out for. But like I say, this, this video that I'm talking about, and I know I talked about it a few things. I hope I didn't ramble, uh, is about research though. Do your research because if you do your research, uh, and I'm talking about extensive research on a whole bunch of different stuff to where you have a full grasp of understanding of what you're talking about and what you believe and what you know, like I have done. I am convinced in my heart of everything that I believe in, you know, um, then you will be able to reason, debate or whatever you want to do in a more effective way where you don't have to curse and you don't have to belittle and hurt and say vicious, vile things to prove your points. You just, you do throw your facts out there and you let your facts speak for themselves. And that's just as simple. That That's just it. That's what you do. We need to do that more as a, as a people, black people for so long. We have just believed what we were told. And I understand that there was a time when we couldn't read, when we couldn't uh, have books, when we couldn't write, when we had to go on what they told us. But that time is long gone. We can't keep using that as an excuse. You know, everything that we need to know is out there. It's in books. It's on Internet. It's in books. <laughs> I'm an advocate of books, you know. And, uh, you know, there's no reason for ignorance. There's a reason for you to just believe and think one particular way. And if nobody agrees with you, then I'm, I'm mad. Come on, we got to get out of that. That's foolish. There, there's a way, there's way too many ways of understanding that is out there for you to, you know, stay so close minded. And once you begin to open your mind and once you begin to explore and look and challenge yourself in, in other areas, you know, uh, you, you, your mind will change, your vocabulary will change, your heart will change, you know? So, uh, that's really all I really wanted to say. We need to research. We need to get more understanding because really, uh, we really, we really are sad and pathetic, you know? And I say that in a nice way, but that guy, that particular guy, you know, he said nasty, vile, vicious things, but for the most part, I know he's just ignorant. I, I know that he just hates women, and I know that he really ha he can only argue what he can argue in his doctrinal faith. That's it, because as soon as he steps outside of that, he knows nothing. He 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 could not reason or debate with me because I know too much, and I'm not bragging, but I know way too many other facets of everything that I could throw at him besides scripture. You know, he's stuck on scripture. I could do scripture. I could do scripture. But you, you can't use scripture to prove really anything in life. I mean, without science, without, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, I just wish as the people, we would get ourselves together. We would learn and research more. We, it's no reason for us to stay ignorant. Okay. So, you guys, um, I wanted to come back and make that video. I wanted to let you know I'm okay. Um, just been going through some stuff, you know. Um, I um, moved to another state, moved to another state, moved to another state. <laughs> and so, um, but I'm good. I'm, I'm good. You know, Ja got this and uh, everything is good. Um, everything is going to be good. And, um, you know. More videos to come. Y'all have a great week. Y'all have a great day. And until the next video, we'll see you next time.